Arab coalition spokesman Turkey Elmaliki gives a press conference at the King Salman Air Base in Riyadh on November 5, 2017. Fayez Nareldin Efbijiti images the Arab coalition backing the Yemeni internationally recognized government of Abdrabah Mansur Hadi announced on Friday that the ballistic missile which targeted Riyadh's civilian airport earlier his month was trafficked through the Red Sea port of Hodeida. Coalition spokesperson Turkey Elmaliki released a statement saying that the missile launched towards the city of Riyadh on November 4 had entered through Yemen's port of Hodeida. International, regional backlash erupted after the audacious targeting, as Riyadh chose to resort to reviewing and implementing stringent security checks inhibiting smuggled arms arriving to the hands of Tehran-aligned Houthi militias in Yemen. On the other hand, the Arab coalition also announced that 42 flight permits were issued for ships and relief aircraft. Since November 4 there have been 82 permits issued to facilitate entry and aid distribution into Yemen 40 permits through seaports and 42 permits through airports, said the spokesperson. This includes issuing clearance for a ship today Rina, carrying 5,500 metric tons of food supplies, to the port of Hodeida, Maliki added. Additionally, there have been five clearances issued to aircraft bound to Sana'a Airport including the November 22nd clearance for an International Committee Red Cross plane. Three days ago, Saudi Arabia said that the coalition will see to the reopening of Hodi to port to aid shipments and the Sana'a airport to United Nations flights. Upon its announcement, the coalition renewed its call for the UN to take over the port of Hodida, which is under the control of the coup militia. The White House welcomed in a statement the coalition's initiative on reopening each of the port of Hodida and the international airport, allowing a healthier flow of humanitarian aid into Yemen. The statement described the decision to open the port of Hodeida and Sana'a Airport as a first step in addressing the humanitarian crisis in Yemen, expressing Washington's aspiration to take additional steps.